Hello, I am Dr. Ayla Swami from Chennai. I am going to show my technique of intact and snake mini plus that is MMA and ethmoidectomy with an intact and snake uh, for minimal uh, maxillary and earth model disease. This is a case of left maxillary fungal sinusitis with uh, minimal right maxillary and bilateral earth model disease. I am going to do it under local anesthesia, my favorite with a pre op sedation. with a spinal needle of 23 gauge with the solution of lignocaine with adrenaline and I am giving an anti model nerve block. So I am starting with a uh, mini first that is I remove the lower one third of the unsnake with the uh, Nagashima's backbiting forceps. This is being done on the left side. The patient has a uh, fungal sinusitis on the left side and uh, minimal sinusitis on the right maxillary and both yet model sinus the frontal and the spleen order are spared this you can do it as a daycare procedure when you do with an intact and snake procedure of for ethmodectomy and everything the post-operative results are very good i have been doing it for the past four years and the results are very good no sinus case no crusting and the the unsnake covers and doesn't expose much the earth model cavity into the outside. So I have done an MMA that's minifest or miss minimally invasive sinus technique where I have taken the lower one third of the unsnake, taking the fungus out, seeing with a 70 degree telescope. Still, there is some more fungus anteriorly, so I am taking little more widening the MMA with an backbiting forceps, Nagashima's backbiting forceps, which I like it very much. It's a highly edited video, which was a 30 minutes video, which is now cut down to 10 minutes. Yeah, see. After I remove the anterior lip, you can see some more fungus. So I am using a J-curet to take out. So you should have all the angled telescope to do your maxillary pathology, even though it's a mini fuss or whatever it may be. And you should have all the angled instruments, ring curates, malleable curates, etc., etc. Otherwise, you will fail and you will leave begin the disease and it recurs. So now I am again using the malleable ring curate. So you should have all the uh, angled instruments, telescopes, uh, right from 0 degree to 90 degree telescope to do a good maxillary work. And meticulously you have to remove. When you are doing under local anesthesia, you cannot wash it. So you have to meticulously remove everything. We can do it. If you uh, cannot remove the final parts, you can do uh, even a wet mopping, uh, my technique of wet mopping technique with a long roller gauze. Still I am widening, you keep on widening till the very hot bone, you will never injure the nasodacrimal duct. You can go ahead, go ahead and hit till the very hot bone. Nasodacrimal duct is very far away. This is a long angled suction tip. At one point I may use the wet mopping technique. But it's a highly edited video. For the beginners I am showing with a very limited usage of the shaver system in this case. You can see hardly any bleeding. That's the advantage of the local anesthesia. Almost the field will be like a fresh cadaver. And uh, you can discharge the patient post-operatively within six hours. And they can start nasal douche the, from the next day onwards. And they can resume duty in one or two days. So I am taking a little more of the posterior lip. That's a view with an 
70 degree telescope it's a true baiting forceps now I am using a 90 degree telescope to see almost the anterior wall of the maxillary sinus and whole of the maxillary sinus no more disease left behind now I am coming for the intact and senate ethmodectomy so I have uh, taken the bulla out with the maxillary straight forceps now I am using the shaver system to take the rem remaining most part of the ethmod even though it's not a complete ethmodectomy most of the because it's a limited disease not a fungal or a anything so you do a good uh, ventilation and everything with an intact and slit this technique of in intact and slit ethmodectomy the post operative results are very good I have been doing it for the past four years under local anesthesia for limited disease. No crusting, no scarring, and the patients are very happy, no recurrence of diseases and everything. And you don't expose too much of the ethmoids into the nasal cavity. So I have done a mini fest on the right side. Now I am taking the bull out with the pecusly straight forceps. See, there is hardly any bleeding because being done under the local anesthesia. So when most of the bulla and the ethmoid cells are cleared, then I will use an shaver system to do the final work. See, the whole anesthetic is remaining except the lower one third has been removed for the MMA. That's minifus. So I have packed the MMA with the nasopore. I used to pack this uh, several years back. That's the gauze I have taken out. Packed gauze I am taking out. Nice MMA and um, ethmoidal cavity with an intact ansonate. Hardly any bleeding. Nowadays I don't pack the nose, but this was done some four years back. Those times I used to pack with a Nasopore as a splint between the middle turbinate and the lateral in the middle meatus as a spacer. You can use gel form also, but nasopore is nowadays not available. Packing on the right side also. This is a mainly as a spacer between the middle terminate and the lateral wall. See through that, you pack between the middle terminate and the lateral wall so that the middle terminate is medialized. Nowadays, I don't pack the nose, I leave it and start reducing from two days onwards. This patient came to me. After a gap of four years without any follow up, no international spray and everything. I did a diagnostic endoscopy. Look at the nasal cavity, any scarring, any crusting, nothing you can visualize. And a beautiful middle terminate, medialized, beautiful ansonate, good MMA, and good ethmoidal cavity. That's the mantra. When he touched the nose, he had little micro discharge that is due to the stimulation. Otherwise, he had no complaints. He came for some hearing loss. So, I did by seeing the reports and everything, did a diagnostic endoscopy, even though he had absolutely no nasal complaints. This is the advantage you do under local anesthesia as a daycare procedure, doesn't do to too much to the nose as a miss that is minimally invasive sinus surgery with an intact ansonate ethmodectomy and MMA. Now going to the right side, it's quite good but there is narrow space on the middle meatus but the, you see the whole ansonate is there except the lower not even one third maybe one fifth of the ansonate has been removed for MMA. Let's see the MMA and the ethmoidal cavity. See, good cavity, both 
MMA and uh, Ethmats and everything. Thank you. You can also follow this technique. You will get a very good result. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.